The problem of how human language relates to the uh, human brain is deep enough. The current assumption in the uh, linguistic and cognitive sciences is that language and linguistic cognition can be reconciled and integrated with the underlying brain structures. I am uh, Prakash Mandal, doing research in linguistics and cognitive science at the Indian Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. So in my recent research published in several papers and my book, I argue that this view, this particular assumption is perhaps deeply flawed and uh, the possibility of integration of language and linguistic structures with the underlying neurobiological structures is limited to a great extent in certain contexts uh, but perhaps possible in certain others. So in particular I argue that there are certain cases of linguistic constructions where a heavy degree of uh, representation and complexity is involved. For example, when I say uh, uh, a book is all I want and I could reverse the pieces of structures in exactly mirror-like reversal. So for example I can say uh, what I want is a book. So such uh, such representational properties of mirror reversal are, are hard to uh, represent in terms of uh, brain structures and brain activations. So it is not sufficient to simply point to these brain structures or those brain structures when talking about how linguistic, how these linguistic properties in their logical, um, logical nature, logical form are constituted by the underlying brain structures. And this work is uh, significant in the background of current work in linguistic and cognitive sciences precisely because uh, this poses a challenge to neuroscience and the, uh, and the cognitive sciences because when we believe that uh, language and linguistic structures can be, uh, can be reconciled and integrated with the uh, underlying brain structures there could be cases where the challenges are very great and these are the cases where we need to think uh, very deeply.